So I'm standing here between two big boxes. One of them's bigger than the other. One of them's emptier than the other. Uh, I believe that there are two objects in this box. And I've got a pretty good idea of what they are. This just came from AFA. But I have zero idea what grade these items are. So this thing, oh my God, just got abandoned on a pallet on the sidewalk in front of our store. So if you get a freight shipment from AFA and don't have a good place for pallets, be aware, they're just gonna leave you with a big old pallet to deal with. packages to AFA quite some time ago. We don't quite remember when. That long. Yeah, I think we sent this off sometime back in the first stage. Maybe before. Melkor became Morgoth. I don't know. That was a long time ago. Safely packed up in layers and layers of bubble wrap, which we always appreciate. sets ever made from one of the most underrated toy lines of all time so that thing got a q70 which you know if that was a star wars thing or gi joe thing or something that would not be a great grade but given the rarity of finding these unused in a box i think that's a pretty darn good grade But there also happens to be one more of these in here. Let's see how this one did. I learned nice safety in the Boy Scouts. This one happens to be sealed, so this is just a straight 70. 
there are not a lot of these out there in that condition these days. It's all protected in this beautiful acrylic tomb. Uh, she'll remain until the end of the days. Okay. Little known fact, or maybe well known to some, I have no idea, but I actually own the original painting that was used on this box, which is by Ken Kelly. He did some Kiss album covers, Frank Rosetta's nephew, brilliant artist. Um, the painting is much, much larger than this, so I don't know where to display any of this stuff. All right, I'm gonna go sleep now.